Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to do simple logistic regression analysis in Excel and R. I think the logistic regression is one of the popular statistical analysis in commercial business area because it provides probability of categorical variables such as yes or no type. I think you need to be familiar with this kind of equation to understand logistic regression. In linear regression analysis, we assume normal distribution for residuals. But in logistic regression, residuals do not satisfy normal distribution because y variable takes only 0 or 1 as a categorical variable. Having said that, you need to consider transforming data such as log transformation. There are a couple of terminologies you need to be aware of, such as OS, logit, and log likelihood from uh, probability density function. I hope you have basic knowledge about these expressions. I have prepared uh, 25 uh, simple data, 25 observations, and two variables. Y takes only 0 or 1, so it's a binary type. So again, uh, odds and probability and probability density function it's important to calculate uh, correlate, I mean, regression coefficients. So let's get uh, O's first. So O's can be calculated by exponential from B0 plus B1 multiplied by X1. Right. So let's give initial value 0 and 0 for B0 and B1. And the probability can be calculated by O's over 1 plus O's. And then log likelihood is from PDF. So YI multiplied by and log of probability plus uh, 1 minus y multiplied by log of 1 minus probability right then if we sum all our log likelihood right so our purpose is to maximize this uh, row likelihood uh, while changing V0, V1 estimates, right? So in Excel, uh, we can do it uh, by uh, server. Okay, so once you click server, uh, set objective from I5 here, because we want to maximize this one. And we, wanna, we can change these two uh, values here and uncheck this one because we can allow we allow negative uh, coefficients and click OK right then we get this uh, estimate it's the same as uh, our output right in R uh, once you read data uh, by using GRM function and specify family as binomial with link equals logit then we can get uh, this output so I showed you how to calculate uh, regression coefficients here and also uh, I will show you uh, another uh, data, I mean output here in Excel. So let's move on how to calculate standard error. So let's copy X1. Okay, and probability. Right, I want to show you uh, how to calculate standard error by matrix computation. So in uh, matrix computation, uh, for uh, B0, we need uh, integer, like one, yeah, vector type, and let's give a row number, and let's give a column number. Right. Oops. Okay. Again. Okay. 
Right, we need uh, 25 by 25 uh, diagonal uh, matrix by using probability. So, uh, if E1 equals F1, then let's give this formula probability multiplied by 1 minus uh, probability. Right, and we need to fix. column okay then apply this formula into other cells okay oh, may uh, we need just let's give a zero here then instead of force we can fit in uh, with zero here okay all right so uh, we 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 want to calculate x prime as the h matrix from diagonal uh, matrix and x right this is the uh, variance of uh, b0 and b1 so let's calculate 2 by 2 matrix here right so and merge transpose x comma and h matrix from here and comma and, and merge comma and x right and then we need to uh, inverse this matrix so M inverse uh, in order to do uh, matrix computation in Excel we need to press control shift enter control shift enter right so this is 2 by 2 matrix so standard error of B0 is the square root of this one and um, For B1, this element, square root of uh, this one. Right. Let's copy and paste here. Right. It's same as uh, our output, right? So Z value uh, can be calculated by estimate over standard error. Okay. Then let's see, uh, calculate the probability here. So for B1, uh, p value can be calculated by 1 minus uh, normal distribution where standard normal distribution z value and comma is should be true because it's cumulative and in uh, multiply 2 because yeah in our program, it uh, has uh, two-sided uh, p-value, so we I multiply by two. So I can apply uh, this one, but this is a negative uh, g-value. So uh, let's copy and let's delete one minus here. All right. Okay. Cool. So uh, next, uh, let's calculate uh, residual deviance, uh, which is equal to minus two log likelihood. So this is minus 2 multiplied by uh, okay, um, yeah, sum of low likelihood. Right. So uh, it's same as we, we want to maximize this one or we want to minimize this uh, minus 2 low likelihood. Right. And archaic information, we can use this formula as you know. So. Uh, minus 2 log likelihood plus 2 multiply number of keys. There are uh, two parameters, so B0, B1, so 2 by 2. So AIC equals 29. Yeah, this one. Okay. And to calculate the null uh, deviance, let me copy this sheet. Okay. Right. And change, let's say, 
then in no uh, logic variation we do not consider b1 okay so again let's calculate uh, b0 here so, so we want to find out uh, this uh, v0 uh, estimate so click data and server we want to maximize this one uh, yeah, sum over low likelihood but we only consider just one value here uh, intercept right okay all right so null deviance is minus two multiplied by sum over low likelihood right same one so let me copy and paste it here right okay so it means that uh, we actually reduced uh, residual deviance once we uh, consider uh, b1 so it means that uh, as you can see b0 b1 is significant and also uh, this uh, simple logistic model is better than only intercept model because the deviance reduced almost like 10 right and the odds ratio so from b1 this one so in a simple logistic regression we interpreted this estimate like this way when x1 increases by 1 then how much it increases in y but in logistic regression well, we need to uh, interpret in a different way so it's a uh, odd ratio as I mentioned so uh, from b1 here the odd ratio uh, can be calculated by uh, exponential of p1 right 1.17 and also we can get this one from uh, the, uh, the probability when we change x1 so let's uh, as an example let's see uh, odds ratio uh, from uh, 13 to 14 right so again uh, we want to see uh, O's ratio okay uh, from 14 here okay and over uh, O's ratio when X equals 13 let's find out uh, certain yeah here okay right so uh, it's, it's not easy uh, to clearly understand the concept of odds ratio but as you can see uh, the meaning of uh, b1 estimate is that when x increases from 13 to 14 like by 1 then the probability of uh, events uh, increases like 1.17 so we call uh, we name we give a name uh, this one as odds ratio right okay uh, that's it for today uh, I hope it was uh, useful for you to clearly understand the logistic uh, regression concept I hope uh, you have enjoyed watching this video and uh, please click like and subscribe uh, if you want to see more uh, practical video clips uh, in the future thank you